Welcome guys. So the life eviction show just concluded and young papi has been evicted from the baby Mzamzi house. Young papi is the only housemaid that was evicted today. We know that the reason for that is because Larato Modise was evicted on Monday and Yolanda was disqualified on Friday. So that kind of helped with young papi being the only housemaid that was evicted. Guys, I'm going to ask this question again. Who is saving Sinai? Like, who is saving Sinai? What has Sinai done in that house that made him a top 10 material? Like, we all know this housemaid, we are in the final two weeks of the house. And the remaining housemaid are the top 10. For now, top 8. So, Sinai is not a product of top 8. It's not a material of top 8. Like, for you to be top 8, at least you have a chance of winning the whole show. But let's all be honest with each other. Senaye doesn't have what it takes to win the show. But I don't know. Maybe the people backing him, maybe the people voting for him see something that I'm not seeing. But let me just know. Who do you think is saving Senaye? And do you think Senaye is a top 8 material? Let me know in the comment section, guys. I welcome you to today's episode. My name is Shooks, and this is Powerhouse of Positivity. So like I said, the life eviction show just ended and young papi was the only housemaid that was evicted. But before we get to the eviction part, let's go to the question Lawrence asked this housemaid. The first person the question was thrown to today was Mpumi. When Papago said that Liema is the most talented housemaid in the house, and uh, why did she react the way she reacted when that comment was made? And Mpumi was like him saying he, uh, Liema is the most talented housemaid in the house didn't sit well with me because when you are talking about talent everybody is talented in their different ways that i might have the vocal cord of singing i might have what it takes to be a great actor so and uh, even z will understand that liama is not the most talented housemate in the house so guys let me know your thoughts do you think mpumi is right from what she's saying that Liema is not the most talented or do you think Liema is the most talented housemate in the house if you believe Liema is the most talented housemate in the house give me the reasons why you think she's the most talented housemate in the house if you also don't believe she's the most talented let me know in the comment section who do you think is the most talented and give me the reason why you are saying this is so person or so so person is the most talented in the house tonight was the next person that was asked the question i remember there was a fight not actually a fight, a kind of confrontation between Liema and Makeke, where Liema has been calling out this housemaid for the way they have been uh, treating her as the last one of the house. So, so when Lawrence asked Naye why he acted as the mediator between these two housemates, Naye was like, yes, he understood where two of them are standing, and uh, he knows that uh, he knows how Liema was feeling to uh, Liema has been feeling in the house, and uh, how this housemaid have tried to boxer and but uh, she kind of tried to mediate between Liema and Makeke because he knows where the two of them are standing so Lawrence at, at the end of the day asked him okay do you think that with you being the mediator do you think that his housemate have settled I said that he doesn't know what they are thinking of or if they have settled that it depends on the both of them so the next person that was asked the question was a uh, Mark Jr and uh, Lawrence kind of hinted the whole situation between Mark Jr and uh, Liema and remember during the first few weeks in the house where Liema tried to initiate a kind of ship between Mark Jr and her Mark Jr point blank told her that he is not interested in anything that has to do with the relationship that he knows the type of game that Liema wants to play and that he doesn't want to Lawrence was like okay how have you been exempting yourself or have you uh, we've known that you've been running away from feelings and uh, everything that has to do with Liema. so how have you been doing that for the previous week and uh, my junior laughed it off and said like yes everybody knows that there is no feelings between him and Liema. and lawrence kind of uh, tried to persuade him to kind of accept or say something and my junior was point blank saying there is no feeling between Liema and I we are just vibing and we understand each other and guys let me know what do you think about today and uh, seeing how all the question that was asked today was kind of uh, channeled or kind of 
was structured to only put Liema and make Liema look like an angel in the house because all the questions that was asked was pertaining to Liema, Liema, Liema. What's your thought on the whole issue? Let me know your thoughts. So after the shocking eviction where Lerato was evicted on Monday, she left through the back door and some people were making comments on X. So today Lawrence called her back to ask her some questions about her, how she felt throughout her stay in the house. And guys, I have to be honest with you. I don't know if Lerato was drunk or if Lerato was high. I couldn't understand what she was answering the question and the answer was not uh, uh, yeah it didn't match for me so let me know in the comment section if you understood the question and the answer that Rato was giving because for me i watched i rewatched i went i sent back i went forward to try to understand but i didn't understand anything so help me in the comment section for those of you that understood and there's some some of the questions were also in a vernacular so for those of you that understand the language help me in the comment section it will go a very long way guys if you are coming across my channel for the first time please hit the subscribe button like the video and let me know your thoughts about what happened today during the life eviction show in the comment section so after the whole question it was time for Lerato Modise to throw her dagger and guys we know that whenever the housemate throws a dagger big brother punishes the housemate that received the dagger on Monday so it came as a shock when Lerato Modise threw her dagger to his man we all know that Papa Ghost whenever you, you hear Papa Ghost you know of uh, Lerato Modise so for Lerato Modise to say I'm throwing my dagger to Papa Ghost, just because I'm trying to celebrate his birthday. Like, that's not the kind of birthday present I was, I'm looking forward to if, if I'm in the house and my girlfriend or someone I'm uh, close to or somebody that I'm bonding with leaves the show. And then it's time for her to make a comeback and uh, say hello to the housemate. And then she's giving me a punishment or she's giving me yeah, she's offering me up to big brother so big brother will punish me i won't see that as a gift especially when it's my birthday week i won't see that as a gift but it is what it is maybe these two housemates they understood each other and they understand that okay maybe it's a prank or maybe yeah this is how i feel about you guys i'll also ask let me know in the comment section you think Lerato modi say giving papa ghost the dagger is because she sees how papa ghost is getting uh, closer to the, uh, some of the female housemates in the house or do you think she just did it out of love and uh, after that the next order of business is eviction and guys i already told you the only reason why one housemate left today is because rato modise left on monday yolanda left on friday so without that we might have seen two uh, eviction today but at the end of the day, the show organizers knows what they have in mind. After Renato Modise was done with her dagger, where she daggered uh, Papa Ghost, Lawrence went into the house and evicted young Papi. Yeah, out of all the housemates that stood up for possible eviction, young Papi got the least vote out of all the housemates. So he was evicted. And uh, once he was with Lawrence, Lawrence asked him questions and they showed him his highlight in the house and they uh, also asked him to kind of go into the house and dagger someone else in the house and uh, it came as a surprise because i'm watching it and uh, the last clip that was showed to young papi was when mark jr was giving reasons why he nominated him so for me i've already made up my mind okay he's going to dagger mark jr but it came as a shock when he went into the house and said oh uh, Z, uh, i'm throwing my dagger at you it's all love babe like I'm, I'm lying and then what 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 happened today because no uh, normally when you are asked to dagger somebody that you know okay big brother is going to punish this person you go to your worst enemy or you go to the person you least have a connection with but for today the way this this uh Rato modise and young papi threw their dagger and who they threw their dagger to kind of made me uh feel like okay maybe they they didn't quite understand the whole meaning of throwing a dagger but let me know what your thought is in the comment section are you surprised on who is on the top eight and if you are let me know your thought and also as i'm ending this video here i'll go i'll be dropping this question who amongst this top eight housemates do you think will be the winner of this show 
let me know who you think and let me know your reason i'll see you guys on the next one